Right now at 10, Joe Biden could address the country tonight as his edge grows in the race for president. The results continue to trickle in from a handful of hotly contested states, including Pennsylvania. Good evening, I'm Jessica Cartalia. And I'm Yuki Washington. Chopper 3 is live over the convention center where the supporters on both sides of the aisle have gathered. Still inside, workers continue to count the ballots. Now, let's give you a look at where the Pennsylvania vote for president stands right now. Joe Biden is in the lead by more than 25,000 votes. We have live team coverage as the nation and the world continues to wait for the official call. We begin with Alexandria Hoff at the Chase Center in Wilmington, Delaware, where many have shown up in hopes that Joe Biden and his running mate Kamala Harris will do the same. Alex. Well, Yuki, yeah, there were crowds and crowds of people, and they showed up hours and hours ago. Still no sign of Joe Biden or Kamala Harris just yet. We are told that the best idea when this could happen would be between now and 11 p.m. The crowds just kept coming, hoping to get as close as possible to the security gates outside of the Chase Center in Wilmington. And we heard Joe Biden was going to speak tonight and just thought, you know, we could take a drive up. <laughs> it wasn't just the prospect of hearing from the former vice president that pulled this group. We're actually from California so and from the Bay Area, so big Kamala fans, mm -hmm. yeah. Some supporters of President Trump were within the crowd, too, echoing the president's claims that even with campaign poll watchers present, the tallying of mail-in ballots has been unfair. In a tweet posted just before 6 p.m. on Friday, the president wrote, quote, Joe Biden should not wrongfully claim the office of the president. I could make that claim also. Legal proceedings are just now beginning. Like many, the Hollins family was not able to get close enough to see through the secured fencing of the Chase Center, but still wanted to be part of the evening. I'm grateful that we did come because this is a memorable moment. In fact, it was Madison Hollins who spotted this huge flag from the highway and suggested coming by despite it being her birthday. You want to celebrate Joe Biden? Yeah, so a lot of people came out here very early in the day, some people even around noon. So we are seeing some of that crowd actually picking up and going home. They've just been out here for so long. And there's no actual organized events. It's really just a lot of people on both sides kind of hanging out in parking lots around the Chase Center. But for those who do wait, they're hoping they will at least be able to hear the voice of former Vice President Joe Biden. Reporting live from Wilmington, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Alex, thank you.